hospital is definitely a place in general you don't want to be, um, but especially if you're elderly. But they're fairly brutal places, and if you or a loved one have ever been in the hospital, you've seen, especially if they're older and frailer, they'll come out and their arms will be horribly bruised from multiple blood sticks. Um, you may see them waste away. Every day spent in a hospital bed is, it, it causes a significant amount of uh, loss of muscle strength for an elderly person. But for an elderly person, every day in the hospital it statistically increases the likelihood that they will never walk again. I mean, that's how profound it can be. So going to the hospital is very dangerous. So what are the most common reasons people go? Well, I printed out a list. Uh, it turns out it's the most common things that are the causes of death in the United States. So generally speaking, circulatory problems, heart attacks, heart disease, very most common cardiac diagnosis, actually congestive heart failure, which sounds horrifying, but really it's just a situation where the pump of the heart is slowly failing, it's not imminently failing, and causes fluid backflow that fills the lungs and some of the, extra, the uh, tissues with fluid. So if you've ever seen anyone with swollen legs or shortness of breath due to fluid in their lungs, that's congestive heart failure. And that's one of the most common causes for folks 65 and older to be hospitalized. Pneumonia is in that list. Um, for people who've ever smoked, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which is also known as emphysema, that's another reason for hospitalization. Actually, for people over 65, osteoarthritis is one of the most common causes that, of hospitalization. And that's actually elective. That's, they don't get in the hospital because their arthritis is so bad. It's because they're choosing to go to the hospital to get a joint replacement. And it's done millions of times in the United States every year. So that's common. Um, other things commonly are infections of various kinds or other soft tissue infections, which you tend to see um, of either um, of, of, of what's called cellulitis, um, uh, other types uh, of joint infections as well. Those are really the most common causes are those uh, cardiac and pulmonary things. So, so how to avoid those? Well, one thing you can do is get a flu shot every year. Very important. So um, there are a number of people in the United States that die every year from influenza, typically at the extremes of age, so the very elderly or the very young. So we recommend certainly for the older population, get vaccinated. Do another thing is don't smoke. If you do smoke, quit. If, you, if you've never smoked, congratulations, continue to not smoke. Don't get around smoke if you can avoid it. Obviously, if you're at St. Simeon's, you're not going to be in a, in a smoke-filled environment. Um, the other things you can do are stay healthy. Well, how do you do that? Easier said than done, right? That's what we're all trying to do. Again, balanced diet with a healthy array, many, many fruits and vegetables. Um, limit your portions of meat. Limit alcohol. Um, then lastly, exercise. Just getting enough caloric expenditure. Whether and It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be in the gym, on a treadmill, on an exercise bicycle. I mean, ideally, if you could get in a swimming pool, it's really nice. And again, at St. Simeon's, you're blessed with having a facility that is so wonderful and beautiful. If you can get in the pool, do some water aerobics, if you're, good, if you're strong enough or able to swim, that is a great way to burn calories and keep your cardiovascular stamina good. But it could just be walking, walking around the grounds, walking a pet, working with uh, the dog, anything you could do to just stay on your feet and walking, because the less you use your, your walking and your legs, the more likely you are to eventually wind up uh, being, you know, um, needing an assistive device, either a cane or a wheelchair. So prevention, uh, in a nutshell, good nutrition, uh, at least 20 to 30 minutes of walking at a minimum every day, good sleep I didn't mention, but if you don't get good sleep, and I know that's hard, especially as we age, we tend to sleep less. And that's okay, but what you really are looking for is a period of four to five hours of uninterrupted sleep, ideally. Preventive measures would be a flu shot every, every uh, you know, starting in October through January, get a flu shot. And then if you're 65 or older, a Pneumovax, that's a pneumonia vaccine, you only need that once if you get it when you're over 65. And then the other thing you could do is the shingles vaccine, the Zostavax, which is, um, prevents shingles. So sleep, nutrition, exercise, and then stay out of the hospital as best you can. Mm -hmm.